what's up guys welcome back today we're gonna do some dark elixir farming on my town hall 10 account I'm in a friends clan underestimated you can see the requirements here you got to be a decent town hall 9 to join there's some cool dudes here if you want to check it out come visit them or join so let's get down to business when I was a town hall 9 I farmed basically just in gold league it worked very well there I was able to get dark elixir around 1800 to 2000 trophies and everywhere else in gold league always had a lot of gold that worked great for Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. But once I became a Town Hall 10, it was very apparent that Gold Leagues are filled with lower level Town Halls. And if you're a Town Hall 10, you can't attack anything except other Town Hall 10s and some Town Hall 9s. So you need to weed those out. If you go to Masters League or probably High Crystals League, you can basically search and every search you will see another Town Hall 10. This helps a lot, so you're just weeding out all the lower town halls. Not to mention, the bases aren't that much different. Everyone's a town hall 10, but look at this guy. He's not maxed in any way. He has level 7 walls. You know, there's nothing intimidating about it. So, it just sort of took me um, a while to realize it, but once I actually went to Masters League, I realized this is a great idea. Now, Masters League has even gotten better since I started farming here. The, the loot bonus has gotten better. You now get 100,000 of each resource, as well as 500 Dark Elixir for every win in Masters League. That's crazy. That, that adds up really well. And it adds up along with great Dark Elixir raids like this. This was an easy 2,000 Dark Elixir. That adds up so fast if you're using a fairly quick army like Barch. And I rarely need spells. That's another thing. When I first came here, I thought I was going to need, you know three or four spells a raid I rarely even use spells I'll use a raid spell if I have to break walls and if I want to take out a mortar I use two lightning spells sometimes I'll use three but that's the absolute most and that's rare most raids honestly are just inactive raids and I'll show you guys some I mean they're they're fantastic you know the thing I've noticed is most Town Hall 10s in Masters League they've maxed all their mines, pumps, and dark elixir drills. In Gold League, everyone has like level 2 dark elixir drills. In Masters League, everyone has max drills. Max drills can hold 1200 dark elixir. Well, they hold 1600, but you can get 1200 out of them when they're full. That's huge. And there's three of them. So, like this here, you can get 3600 dark elixir in one raid with barbarians and archers and no spells how where else can you beat that and then with the the loot bonus you've now got 4,000 dark elixir in one raid you just can't beat this in any other league I mean this is where you get a lot of dark elixir and it's easy that's what master 3 is all about so that's why I recommend it to a lot of people at Town Hall 10 it's not as scary as you know when I first thought about going to Masters League, I was a little intimidated. I thought I was going to get smashed on defense all the time, and I thought I was going to have to use different armies than just barbs and archers, but as you can see, that's not the case. I mean, it is just easy, easy, easy. Uh, sometimes you do have to take storages. It's like any league, you kind of need to go with the flow. Like, if there's a lot of inactive raids like this, you just keep hitting them. You just wrap up bases with barbs and archers, or whatever you want to use, but that works best. And sometimes, you won't find those inactive raids, so you just take on easy storages. That's another great part of Masters League, is a lot of people think they are pushing. They think they're trophy pushing, so they don't care about their loot as much as people in other leagues, you know, lower leagues. Um, Masters League people do tend to protect their Dark Elixir storage, but... Golden Elixir, not quite as much, in my experience. But they're never going to protect their drills, really. I mean, this raid had them protected because this guy has no idea what he's doing. Uh, this was uh, just a thrown-together base. It was terrible. Um, to kind of show you that you don't need to have, like, max camps and have your heroes, in these raids, I put a couple witches in my camps to just take up space, and I'm not using those. So I basically have, well, 36 less troops than, than normal. So I'm really only using about 200 troops. And I'm not using my heroes to get the 
the loot. I'm going to try to use my Archer Queen here to get 50%, but um, to get the loot, you don't need even a full camp of troops, and you don't need your heroes. Your heroes are important to help you get 50% all the time, but they are not always, always crucial. Like, this base was hard to get 50% because so much was inside. A lot of bases have everything outside that's uh, not important, such as barracks, mines, and builders' huts. And if all that is outside, it's an easy 50% with just barbs and archers, no spells, no heroes. And, of course, you know, you want to use your clan castle. I didn't use my clan castle that time, but that would have been 30 to 35 extra troops. Definitely would have helped me get, you know, a few more percent. So, with the tools you have available, even as a new Town Hall 10, you can do this. And as you upgrade to Town Hall 10, you should have decent defenses, and you should be able to hold your own on defense in Masters League. If you've come to Town Hall 10 and you don't have everything else maxed, maybe you should sit in lower leagues. I don't want you to come to Master and lose every storage, every raid. But really... Does it matter if you can just continually get raids like this? I mean, look at this. Another instance of um, almost 3,600 Dark Elixir. He has one Dark Elixir drill that's not maxed, but the other ones are. So, 3,200 Dark Elixir. That's crazy. Along with a ton of Golden Elixir that's just lined up so easily for us. And this is what it's all about. I mean, most of my raids are not stressful. It's just this, and it's fun for me. If this isn't fun for you, then by all means, don't do it. But this is how you get fast gold elixir, and most importantly, dark elixir at Town Hall 10. And with that new loot bonus, like I said, you cannot beat this. You can end up getting, you know, half a million of each resource sometimes. With 3,000 to 4,000 dark elixir, it just adds up so fast. And this is doable for anybody. I mean, a Town Hall 9 could even do this. I do it a lot with uh, without my heroes and without a full camp of troops even. Uh, I'll often use 200 to 220 troops. Crystal 1 League is actually very similar to this. So as you're climbing up, if you want to try this, start climbing up from wherever you are now. I would use Barch and go for bases that have a lot of buildings outside. That don't have many buildings inside except defenses and storages. Go for those bases. And uh, get 50%, get the loot, and get on up to a place where you start seeing raids like this. Either easy storages or very easy inactive bases that are just stacked. And this is what I this is what I do most days, you know. I I do this and hit easy storages, and the income is great. It's a lot of fun. It's a little more challenging than Gold League, so it's more fun to me. I mean, going up against uh, Town Hall 10s every raid is definitely more enjoyable and look at that loot I mean with the bonus it's just amazing and it adds up so fast and this is truly how you can max your heroes at Town Hall 10 here's the spell composition as I said two lightning is what I use and then the rest rage you could add in any other spell if you wanted or you could use all lightning to take out mortars that's that helps a lot too so that's it for today's video on Town Hall 10 Dark Elixir Farming in Masters League. Hope you guys learned something and I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below if you have anything to say about Dark Elixir Farming. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing this series again soon so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.